once you get out on the water, the feeling of actually holding the main sheet and steering with the tiller, you feel like you're in charge. You feel powerful. We want to get to know all of you. So again, I want to know your name, where you go to school, your grade. My name is Lauren Morrison. I'm the Lake Monroe Sailing Association Youth Sailing Camp Director. I've uh, been working with the camp for the past five years. Lake Monroe Sailing Association Youth Sailing Camp has um, been around for at least the past 15 years and we teach kids from 9 through 16 how to sail and it's to further the love of sailing to the next generation. Through the Bloomington Parks and Rec we've been able to grow our program and get kids from all over that wouldn't have heard about our program to um, come down to the lake and develop a love for it. I was eight years old and my mom was like, oh, you need to do that sailing camp down there. And I was like, oh, I really don't want to. I don't want to spend my summer doing that. And then once I got to camp, it was such a good environment and everybody was so nice. This is how you control the boat. It's connected to the rudder. There's nothing like the youth sailing camp uh, really anywhere in this area. There are a lot of sailing camps on the coast, um, but it's really unique for the Midwest to be able to have a program like this. So when you sign up for a sailing camp, you can expect to get wet. Bad we teach kids about sailing from the very fundamentals of having never stepped on a boat before, maybe having never been down to the lake before. We set up the program so that they can work their way up from having little to no knowledge to being able to sail a boat completely on their own. Our three camp goals are to be safe, have fun, and learn to sail. And if everybody uh, walks away from the program with those three things, we consider it a success. If I had a goal that I would want every camper to walk away from this camp knowing and understanding is the relationship of the boat to the water and how that interacts. How do we harness the wind in order to make the boat move? We teach them about wind direction. We teach them about points of sail. We teach them about capsizing, so that's when the boat tips over. You have to flip it back upright. Kids who have been coming here for years and years, they begin to learn um, racing techniques. So we get into the sport of sailing and the sport of racing sailboats. Sail closer to the box, try to get back in. We also want to make sure that all of our kids have a basic understanding of boats and the parts of the boat. We teach them the bottom part of the boat is the hull. The big pole that goes up, the giant metal lightning rod, is the mast. That's what holds up our sails. The part of the mast that sticks out horizontally, it's called the boom. We tell the kids it goes boom when it hits you in the head, so don't let it hit you. <laughs> You'll have a main sail, which is the bigger sail, and then some of our boats have a smaller sail on there, which is the jib. We don't have any ropes on a boat. They're called lines or sheets. In order to control the sails, you have a, a main sheet controls the main sail, a jib sheet controls the jib sail, and then in in order to steer the boat, we have a rudder on the back. The part that you hold on to is called the tiller. One of the greatest things about this program that I think that uh, Walt and Rita just did a wonderful job when they established it is that, you know, there's campers that come for week after week and they've structured the program in a way that they then go from learning to sail to learning to teach sailing. And they're passing on their love of the sport and the activity to the next generation, you know, kids that are younger than they are. After that one first summer, I realized that I had made some friends, so kept coming, eventually moved my way up the ranks, got all the bracelets, slowly became an instructor. All of the staff here were campers at one point, so it's always like once, once you're sailing and you get small boat certified and then once you turn 14 you can become an intern and everybody chooses to become staff because being staff is super fun. We're all just like one big family, it's really cool. This is my first year as an instructor 
So that's very exciting. I love being on the boats, just teaching the children and just having fun with it. A lot of it's just trying to be that fun person that the kids can relate to, have fun with. It would be great if every kid came away knowing, you know, a basic understanding of how we can possibly harness the wind to move this boat and also that I can do it. Like I'm the, I'm a kid, but I can do this hard cool thing by myself and you know, I don't really need adult help. I just think it's a great way for kids to grow in their independence. And so, if every kid walks away having some understanding of sailing but also just had a great time and feels more confident, then that's excellent.